सभी को नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम वीव बिन टॉकिंग अबाउट द एग्जिस्टेंस इन यू एच वी थ्री लेक्चर फोर एंड वीव बिन डिस्कसिंग आर रोल इन दिस एग्जिस्टेंस वी डिस्कस्ड हाउ एवरीथिंग इन दिस एग्जिस्टेंस इज इन ऑर्डर देर इज अ हार्मनी and what is missing is our participation as human beings so everything every unit in this existence in the other three orders seems to be in line with this pattern of existence only we who are supposed to be the most evolved of the species we seem to be not in line because we have assumed something about the existence which may not be true but we all do have the potential to know to understand the existence the way it is to be able to see within ourselves everything in this existence the way it exists and now we must make effort for that as the self we have a need to know and of course we need to be happy that is a need of the self to be happy and to be happy in continuity and this need to know and the need for happiness these two are linked because only when you know how the existence is what the reality what the truth really is only when you have seen it within yourself can there be continuity in this happiness because then you set your feelings your thoughts in line with this so till we get to the human being we find that everything that is physical is cyclic it happens in cycles something starts there is formation it deforms goes back to the elements is again formed and this process keeps going on you look at the trees you look at the plants you look at the growth of all of these you find it is cyclic you look at the rain formation see how the clouds are formed the rain comes down then again the, this whole cycle movements of the earth around the sun movements of the moon around the earth everything is cyclic so we have given it some name so we call a day a day but what is behind that is a cycle cyclic movement a week is a week a month is a month but everything we notice that there are cyclic patterns waves rise and fall everything you know, you notice in this existence in the material part everything you will see is cyclic so this includes the physical order this includes the bio order so in the bio order if we take the example of the human body human body also you can see the cycle you can see how things you know, the body is formed there is the birth of the body there is a period of growth there is aging and then 
regeneration and death cycles but when it comes to the self now in the self there is potential to know there is potential to go beyond this cycles the cyclability to be able to see something beyond that that potential is there by going beyond what we are referring to as the b2 block the lower activities of the self the lower activities of the self are important they are necessary for survival skills they have a purpose like for instance sensation now it has a purpose because you are able to smell because you are able to taste because you are able to feel you know what is right what is not right for say to nurture the body for example so if the food is okay or not fit for consuming giving to the body or not you can decide that with your taste of smell sometimes with the taste itself and so on by the look of it what you see through the eyes and so on so there is a purpose for the body the sense organs and it is important but ultimately the body is being directed by the self and in the cell while we may have been functioning with the lower activities and we can manage we can manage to survive but if we want to live with happiness in continuity then this is not sufficient we have to awaken to the higher activities in the self there is no other go you will find in the b2 block also it is more or less cyclic so you get stuff from outside you go through churning it in yourself right and when you know, at some point you forget now you have to redo so when the self is on a continuous journey with the death of the body it is forgotten and then again we need to restart from the abcs so in the b2 block things are still cyclic if think about whatever you think whatever you analyze whatever you try to logically explain it is with things that you already know or you already have as the information but if you want to know something newer if you want to be able to see the truth the way it is then we have to go beyond this then we have to awaken to the higher activities within us and that is the b1 block so in the b1 block as we awaken to the higher activities we find that we have the potential to go all the way to realization to be able to directly see the coexistence the way it is to be able to see how this pattern is and how every unit is conforming to this every unit of the other three orders and with that we can see what is our participation what is our role we just have to understand this and live according to it so we had given some assignment yesterday i don't know how many people were able to do it but you know we can check with you we had asked you to reflect on how every 
order except for the human order has definite conduct and for the human order to have definite conduct the human being needs to have right understanding and right feeling the right feeling will come when you when you have right understanding right isn't it so the two are linked so to develop right understanding what do you need to do you need to start looking inward paying attention within and referring to your natural acceptance yesterday this discussion was there that how can we be happy until we have the right understanding but you see even though we may not have the right understanding we do have a glimpse of it in the form of natural acceptance and this is sufficient to guide us provided we refer to it so if we refer to our natural acceptance and we bring our feeling in line with our natural acceptance we find at that very moment we are in harmony we are happy if we keep doing this process if we keep referring to the natural acceptance bringing our feeling in line with the natural acceptance being in harmony being at peace within slowly we find that when the conflicts die down and as we keep searching seeking the truth seeking to see the existence the way it is slowly things start opening up and we are able to see more and more so as we continue to pay attention inside and explore within we awaken to the higher activities within until we are able to realize to be able to see the coexistence the way it is so all this may take time it will take time to go all the way to realization to be able to see because these are very very subtle activities as you are going deeper and deeper activities or higher activities they are more subtle so it is you know we also have to slowly develop our competence to be able to see these subtle activities but when it comes to having the right feeling at this one moment you don't have to wait till completeness of right understanding this is possible right now here at this moment so yesterday we had asked you to practice this and see how frequently we refer to the natural acceptance how often we are able to have the right feeling in accordance with the natural acceptance and be in harmony within and how often we missed it so just to have that awareness to be able to see you know where we are so we had asked you to reflect on it and we can take your observations ma'am actually uh, so we what we have learned earlier in the uh, harmony of nature is uh, animal order human order bio order and physical order four orders mm -hmm. here uh, animal body and human body are shown under bio order yes and bio yes animal order human order these are different orders they have been put as different orders but if you look at only the body right the body comes under the bio order it is when the self associates with the animal body it is part of the animal order and when the self associates with the human body it becomes part of the human order so in the human order you have human beings in the human being there is a coexistence of self and body right now yeah. so if you are only considering the body it is part of the bio order you can see that you know formation of cells all of that is there how things are happening it's just that if you consider it as compared to plant there is much more sophistication much more complexity but the body is essentially that it it has only recognition and fulfillment 
the body has no role of assuming no role of knowing but do we uh, explain the same way in the that harmony in nature um, uh, that blocks uh, when we uh, see physical order bio order animal order and human order we say only bio order consists of only plants that is that is a way we explain no ma'am otherwise uh, so students may have in some miscommunication but this is what we have been saying throughout when we talk of existence we talk of this it's true that in the um, you know in the first level workshop or in the introductory workshops we may not have been able to pay attention to these finer points but you see for yourself you don't go by what was said there and what is said here you try oh. to see for yourself in the body there is only recognition and fulfillment isn't it body cannot assume something you are assuming something and instructing the body the body is going along with whatever you have assumed you assume even a poisonous plant is good for you and you instruct the body to eat it it will eat it even if that thing harms the body it can only recognize and fulfill it can't do more than that it cannot assume it cannot have the potential to know ma'am one more thing is uh, you can we... see in the body also this cyclic you know the body is formed it goes through a process of growth it decays dies so this we have been saying right from the beginning that the body and the self are two distinct entities they are very different we keep saying the body is material the self is consciousness haven't we been saying that yes ma'am yes so body is material there itself you have it Uh, body is material, but uh, should it be coming under bio order? Uh, we can we have another okay. line uh, from material to animal body, and then plus this one forming animal order, something like that. I don't know. It is so, the same thing, isn't it? How the the form may look different to you, but it is essentially see. this classification is for us to better understand things so wherever the units are closer together or in you know have the similar characteristics they have been put together in one unit that's how it is and we'll discuss this more when we come to the nature chart and the details of that you will find that you know in the material order there is no pulsation it just exists in the bio order there is pulsation some sort of you know circulation respiration whatever you want to call it and this you see even in the animal body and in the human body so as we when we do the we'll do that in detail the nature chart and how they are classified in the orders but essentially you will find that this has been this first of all this order what we are calling this is just a classification that we have done in order to understand things better and those that have similar characteristics we have put in one category and you will find that it is quite apt when we do it in more detail you will be able to see the details of why it is so suffice it to say that the characteristics are similar to the units of the bio order and therefore they are in that category once the self associates with it now it becomes a different category because in the animal order the self now assumes something and with that assumption it is associating with the body and now it forms an animal order similarly when the self associates with a more complex more sophisticated body the human body now it forms part of the human order because here there is even though there is assuming there is also potential to know in the animal order there is no potential to know so you will find that for every order there are some characteristics 
based on which that demarcation is done just for the sake of ma'am one more thing ma'am uh, so we have uh, again learned that animals cannot have the knowing capability but here consciousness is having all capability and that is associated with this animal order also so where that why that animal cannot know consciousness or cell can be less developed or more developed isn't it but it is knowing assuming uh, recognizing and fulfilling are shown for consciousness and the same consciousness is associated with animal and uh, human then why yeah, and the self self when it is less developed it associates with an animal body when it uh, seeks to know it associates with a human body isn't it but the in the direct self develops oh. it associates accordingly even today even now the human so called human self you can say the self that is associating with the human body there also you will find many people are living in animal consciousness why do you think it is called animal consciousness because your consciousness has not developed not that you are trying to demean the animal or demean the human being but it is you can see that's how it is isn't it the self is less developed it is going by assuming it is not having any interest in knowing it is just going around in the b2 block it's like living in hu- in uh, in human consciousness or animal consciousness but when you start seeking and you realize you have the potential to know then you can be you can get up to knowing that potential is there only in the human being that is not there in the animal order because the self when it is associated with an animal body the the brain the body structure is such that it cannot get to knowing there is a limitation so the self is associating with the animal body when it is ready for the for assuming but when it wants to know when it is further developing then as the need grows it associates with the human body you can reflect on it you need, need not decide about it right now you can keep it open okay yeah okay ma'am hmm. how about the what we asked to do the assignment will be able to do yeah while sleeping um, my brain is working but uh, i am in the animal consciousness is it correct my See? brain is working body is in condition only but then i am in unconscious state wait 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 let's not just put in words when you are asleep hmm yes abhi for some time we put aside the brain the brain is a part of the body that is clear yes the heart also part of the body but working but unconscious state wait 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 let's not bring consciousness into it hmm. so the body the part of the body is you know brain is a part of the body heart is a part of the body yes now who are you you are something more than that isn't it yes yeah. when you go to sleep mm. when you go to sleep hmm, you may not yes. be aware when you get up you say i had a good night sleep you say that sometimes yes yes who had the sleep body then who is saying i had a good night sleep self and body combined <laughs> self is saying no who is aware that you had a good sleep body is aware or you are aware self self is aware so you know that you had a good night sleep how are you able to know it if you are not if you are unconscious 
no but i unable to uh, in while sleeping if you are doing something i don't understand but uh, my for example uh, even not in the night or something if you talk in english i understand even day time also if you speak in hindi i don't understand how can i come to this uh, area is clear through education so language yeah. is a barrier so language is part of what see if you look at the lower activities of the self we said these lower activities are useful for survival anyway isn't it we yes. are using our thought process every day for so many mm-hmm. things for the skills we have learned now while it is true that you know these activities are within the self sometimes we refer to them as the mind and the mind and the brain are two different things right the mind is referring to these activities within the self but when it comes to relaying to the body when it comes to um instructing the body now these with these activities whatever decision i come to i relay to the body through the brain so the brain is connecting up you know whatever i am instructing i am instructing giving those instructions to the brain and then the brain is relaying it to different parts of the body so for instance when you are um, you know you say i want to raise my hand now you think about it first isn't it yes the body doesn't just raise the hand you think about it first that i want to raise my hand now you instruct the body how are you instructing the body you give the instruction to the brain now the brain sends the signal to that part of the body and then the hand is raised it is true that when you have to use analytical skills you do use some part of the brain in terms of you know the circulation the you know the the connections in the brain are used but as you go beyond the mind to the higher activities there is no role of brain that is all in the self that part body has no role the understanding part body has no role that has to come from within in the self okay okay while sleeping i am in animal order is it correct no no how can you be in animal order you have potential to know whether you are sleeping or awake you still have the potential to know even those who are living in animal consciousness we still classify as human order because they are associating with a human body they have the potential to know yes. isn't it we may not have reached our potential but we do have the potential to know isn't it yes yeah but my brain is in coma stage and what can the body's role again we brought one more word without understanding what it is see coma is something else when you're sleeping oh, okay. is something else isn't it yes but so the word is a lot of other problems may be there with coma let's not get into that coma there could be damage to the brain there could be so many things okay so yes, that yes. depends on what the condition is what the problem is but when you are sleeping you can see this na okay yes yeah thank you thank you hello yes namaste didi am i audible yes sir yeah. i also had the same doubt didi just asked about this you know self be same for the animal order and human order yeah so can you just explain a little more about it that how it is different for animal order and it is different for human order but the self is same 
yeah so you see even now when the lower activities are active but the higher activities we are not aware of them they are there but we are not aware of them okay yeah but then is it the role of body that separates the human beings from animal animal so we have a different body so the self is well associated body. it's not just the body see the the self itself it goes by a group in the animal order there is no potential to know one part is definitely that there is limitation of the body as and when you know the self starts developing this need to know comes and then the self associates with a human body so that it can get to the potential the full potential so ultimately the self is the one who is choosing who is deciding what to associate with which body to associate with isn't it and it's deciding based on whatever you know it considers important so if the self is not yet developed it has no interest in knowing also it might associate with the animal body at some point it starts associating with the human body now in the human body because the brain is more developed yeah the lower activities you can go you know analyze things all that but in the animal body the self is not able to analyze logically look at things because the brain is not only because the brain is less developed in the animal body but also because the self has not yet developed so it is happy with that itself it is going largely by selecting tasting and it continues in the animal body till you know at some point there is saturation of that and there is you know, something it needs to go further then it associates with the human body but all this is you know it will just be either you have to believe it or you have to disbelieve it just keep it open and try to you know reflect on it for yourself and see Yes, sir. I am saying that the potential to know is there in the self, mm -hmm. and it develops when it associates with the human body. Is, mm -hmm. is it so? It develops. Yeah, ne potential is already there. You can develop the competence to be able to see it. Okay. It's like saying, you know, higher activities we have to get them. they are already there we just have to see them that's why it is called realization you realize that it is all there you know you just have to be able to see it i need to explore a little more about it because i still you know in i'm still thinking that the self is same for animals and humans but then it is keep not it the same keep it open reflect on it some yes. more yes yes we do that Ma'am, uh, one question. I just want to understand. We are talking about self. So usually we talk about mind, body, and soul. So when we talk about self, does it constitutes both mind and soul together? Yeah. First, what you have to say what, what is what do you understand by mind and what do you understand by soul. That is what the confusion is, ma'am. So when we are talking about okay. self. See, when you bring in more and more words, then I will ask you, what do you understand by that? Then I can say, is the self same as that? No, I don't know what you think mind is, what you think soul is. 
so then when we talk we about to... soul the soul is all pervading it same in everyone what I creates mean, the difference is the mind we bring in something we have read we may not understand it we believe it and we are trying to see okay now what is being said is it matching what i what my preconditioning is or not that's not what we need to do ultimately we have to directly see what i can say is that in tradition lot of times the soul is referred to the pure part of the self what we are referring to as the natural acceptance the highest activity within the self the activity of realization sometimes in tradition the soul is referred to as that atma and so many things other times the entire self is also being referred to as soul okay when it comes to mind sometimes in tradition only this activity of selecting tasting is referred to as mind other times in you know so many writings this whole lower activity the b2 block what we are saying is referred to as the mind so now you can decide for yourself what is mind what is soul got it got it ma'am thank you so much yeah so in this uh, yeah so if you look at this closely the task to be done is in the self we need to move from the lower activities to start looking at or awakening to the higher activities within us so you'll notice we always talk of awakening to the higher activities not that we have to get the higher activities from somewhere they are already there we have to awaken to them we have to realize this coexistence so all that we talk of the coexistence the relationship the harmony all of that is already there in the nature in the existence but we have to see it we have to realize it and that is possible only from within there the role of the body is now not there in the lower activities we are making use of the body but once you get to contemplation and beyond that part is happening within the self and there is no role of the body in fact you will notice that you know whatever we hear whatever we see now here you are using the body i am using the body to talk you are using the body to hear but that is leading to transfer of some words isn't it so that is giving some information so there you have role of body but if you go beyond right if you get to feeling the contemplation part if you get to you know the understanding all of this is happening in the self there there is no role of body so how do you get to it you get to it by going paying attention inside because if you are paying attention outside you will not get the answers if you are just going by words if you are just trying to match your preconditioning that preconditioning has also come from outside you have read something somewhere you have seen something somewhere now you are trying to match it what what is being said here is it the same as that or is it different so there you are going to just be either believing or disbelieving but you want to go beyond that you want to go beyond these lower activities you want to go beyond and try to see the answer yourself for that you have to turn inward there is no other go you have to try to explore the higher activities within and ultimately be able to see it see the truth see the reality for what it is for yourself not based on what somebody else is saying so on the one hand you know you can have you have the potential to get to realization within 
once you get to realization, everything becomes authenticated for you. Everything that you had questions about, all those answers now you have. And you realize that whatever you know you were trying to figure out, all that now it makes sense because that's how things are. And with that, now you try to bring your lower activities in line with this realization of the coexistence. So you are able to see that this is how it is and this is what I need to do. You already, you know, with the contemplation, you can see your participation. So with the realization of the coexistence, the understanding of the harmony, seeing the relationship, seeing your participation, now you bring all the lower activities in line with this. And ultimately, this reflects in your behavior with other human beings. It reflects in your work with the rest of nature. And you get busy participating, doing your bit in this part, in the work outside, in the behavior outside. So that you start working for the fulfillment of this human goal. Now you can see it's not just about you. It's about all the human beings. It's about all of existence. So you are able to have that feeling, the feeling of coexistence, the feeling of harmony within you, the feeling of relationship for each and every unit in the existence. And so it reflects that feeling results in thoughts and those thoughts ultimately translate into your expression outside. That expression outside, you are using the body. But this realization within is all in the self. So on the one hand, there is the you know, you can go, you have the potential to go all the way to realization. And in the outside part, you can have the expression. It comes in your expression. Uh, Ma'am, uh, this animals have only selecting and tasting. They don't have this analyzing capability also. You, you tell me, what do you think, you know? You put a mathematical sum in front of the animal, can the animal solve it? The assumption, where this assumption comes from expectation only, selecting and tasting. See, assumption is something that you have uh, accepted about the reality, isn't it? Try to understand things rather than just, you know, accepting whatever is being said. If you understand things, you will not have this question. So, if you see an assumption is something that you have accepted about the reality. So, animals tend to assume things, right? They don't have the potential to know, to see for themselves what we're talking about, right? But even in the lower activity, that assumption is playing, like for instance, they assume they are the body. So they will do whatever it takes to uh, protect the body, to try to, you know, um, if anything happens to the body, it is like it's happening to them and so on. And you will find that they are largely largely focused on the selective and tasting part. Ma'am, one more thing. Uh, in the pre, in first, one... of, first of all, is this here, this part? Is uh, this open point? Uh, yeah, ma'am, but desire though, don't they have desire, thought, expectation combinedly that they don't have? Only they work on expectations. Let's reflect on it. Let's reflect on it. Because we have discussed this again and again. You just asked about analyzing, comparing, all of that, no? Uh, that means the higher levels, uh, are the, only in the fifth level they are remaining or they do, they do have the other activities also. 
in at least in B two block. Do you think that um, see, when we say that we want to live, hmm, the animal wants to live. That much is clear, isn't it? when we say live with happiness right this happiness this harmony within do you think the animal is also trying for that or the animal is largely focused on eating taking you know things for the body getting the food surviving so on reflect on it you will have your answer what we are calling desire we may actually be referring to expectation so you will find self is in a process of evolution yes ma'am so little bit occasionally there may be some variation but largely for the most part animals the animal self is largely you know going by selecting tasting that's where it um its focus is and as the need for for evolution of the self happen slowly when it feels the need then it associates with the human body we we'll leave it at that i think enough to yep. discuss about this let's worry about ourselves yes ma'am yeah we are mainly focusing on our uh, our way of conducting isn't it so how we have to conduct so to create harmony yeah, we want to we want to be able to see the truth isn't it of course when we see the truth we will we'll have all these answers anyway but important thing is it's okay to try to understand but try to see for yourself rather than go by somebody else's word okay when we say things also keep it open till you see it for yourself reflect on it ask those questions yes within how it is possible what do you see observe the animal isn't it hmm. you will find that answer Okay. You had a question about this slide? Yeah. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, Titi, I wanted to understand the difference between understanding and accepting because whatever you say in the workshop, it seems very um, relevant and you know uh, accepting for me. So I want to un uh, understand what what does understanding mean, like. yeah there is no doubt in this for me no doubt in what in whatever you're saying so i'm uh, that means you are so, believing me yeah so that is not understanding no right right ha huh, this is exactly i want to know ha huh. so you have believed something you are accepting it you are assuming it to be true but it may not be true keep it open <laughs> okay okay when you see it for yourself when you are directly able to see it then it is true for you then it becomes understanding for you but until then it is just a belief isn't it right so i may think that i know that uh, the human being is a coexistence of self and body but then when it comes to practically living again and again i i am my focus is on the body so i am still somewhere focused on the body thinking i am the body so that assumption is playing in even though the information has reached me so the assumption is very strong i have accepted something to be true isn't it i believe it to be true and that starts playing out but what i am saying as information may seem right hmm? right 
but when you are say not listening to this but you are interacting with somebody now whatever is your assumption when you are not aware that is what will come forward isn't it mm -hmm. if i assume that my relationship is with my immediate family members but my relationship is not with the maid child then i will behave differently with my family members and i will behave differently with the maid child because my assumption is my relationship is with this one not with that one now that assumption is playing out even though i may have the information that you know relationship is with all but i haven't been able to see it myself it's not come into my understanding yet so that assumption is what leads to you know it 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 drives my feeling and then my thought and behavior and everything can you see this as an example yeah yeah so when you say to see it for myself that means i have to uh, contemplate over it and reach the un uh, level of understanding yes you have to contemplate you have to understand you have to realize you have to be able to directly see the existence the way it is in the form of coexistence then it will become clear that work we all have to do by ourselves nobody can help in that i mean we can help there can be you know people can say things we can read things to give us some idea you know but words are can be very limited to be able to directly see it it's like if i tell you tiger is an animal with uh, you know four legs and it has a tail and it is like this and it is like that it's not the same as when you come face to face with the tiger and the tiger you know growls and roars in front of you now you know what a tiger is mm -hmm. is it right right so similarly you have to directly see things the way they are for yourself then only you truly understand before that you know there are words there is information you have to turn that information within you have to ask those questions within in fact what happens why we keep saying don't believe don't believe don't disbelieve because if i say suppose that this is how it is now i believe it i stop asking the question because i think i know isn't it if i stop mm -hmm. asking the question i where will i get the answer from so only when you seek the answer intensely within you will be able to get that answer because it's all there to be able to get that answer we have to seek within there's nothing outside you have to do you don't have to go to big places i mean if you look at you know person like ramana maharshi he just said that you ask yourself who am i and he sat down with his eyes closed and he kept sitting for years together of course we may not be able to do that but what i'm saying is ultimately you don't need anything outside really if that desire to know is strong enough within otherwise we may be you know side tracked we may be uh, looking outside we may be getting uh, tempted by so many things outside so we think okay this understanding part we'll do later realization and all can wait let's first get you know it's time for lunch let's go eat good lunch i think i'm not saying for you i'm sorry but i'm just saying in general so we may be spending you know lot of our effort outside and therefore these things inside we think we know we have read somewhere the mind is like this the soul is like this and so we think okay we know everything now we are not asking those questions inside so how will we know isn't it right yeah yeah thank you so much didi thank you so ultimately what can we say from this 
So we talked about the human being, just the basics and the existence. And the most important part for having harmony within and having human conduct, we said, is to have right understanding and the right feeling, right thought in the self. So the self is the one where all this understanding is going to be, not the body. So you can see how for my happiness and happiness in continuity, for my getting to understanding and having the right feeling, self is the one that is central to my existence. And this is what is the theme of this whole course, that our focus is going to be largely on the self and our understanding about nature and existence in the self. So that is what the focus is going to be. Yes. So the self-reflection part. So having assumed or understood nature and existence in detail, have you changed your living pattern or living choices? For example, choice of food, daily routine, and so on. You may have assumed something or you may have understood some things, some part of this nature existence. Has that made you have any change in your, the choices that you are making in your day-to-day -day living? So you can reflect on that. To what extent are you able to see the difference between the self and body in terms of their needs, activities, and the response? I think this is pretty simple in terms of the words, the information. But try to see, is it there in your living? So when we say, you know, the activities of the self are continuous, the activities of the body are temporary, are we able to see it within ourselves? So like that. Are you able to see that self is central to human existence and body is used just as an instrument? So this is the reflection today. 